Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well. Today I'm here for Wallpaper Wednesday. It's been selling really fast. I've been selling out on Wednesday, so I thought I'd do some extra this time. So let me uh, put that aside and go ahead and get started. I've got a pack of wallpaper cutoffs. These are fun. We're going to make something with them at the end of the video. Or just one so I can show you a couple things that I do with them. So if you have your own wallpaper and you end up with cutoffs, cutting them down to page size, we'll have a little project to do together. But these are the, the ones in the set that I'm going to have in the shop. And I may put another set in if it sells. Get that back. All right, let's get started. First, I have, let me see how many of this is. I think it's about nine of these type of sets. And these are all five sheets. They measure approximately eight and a half. This one's about eight and a half to 15. Wait a minute, that's not right. I wrote that wrong. What am I saying? Okay, this is eight and a half high by 15. See, they're really nice size sheets. These are 12 by 15. So these are all really big, big pieces. And the weight and feel of these are just really nice. I don't know if you can tell how, how great these are for covers especially. Well, really anything. Cards, tags, really beautiful papers. So that's the first set. Get that, oops, get that out of the way. Here's the next set. So these all vary just a little bit in sizes. This is just a little bit shorter, but most of them are 12 inches tall by 15. They're all 15. That's the set. more of like a sagey olive green and some ta tan and beiges. And like I said, they're all same sizes. I love wallpaper. This is really pretty. This one's a little bit different texture. They're all just beautiful. So how's everybody been doing? Anything fun going on? one's different too. Pretty little butterflies. I'm not going to open every one of these up. I will be here all day, but I just wanted to let you see what's going in the shop today. This will be in by the time the video goes up. Beautiful papers. This one has some uh, more grays and it's like a deep blue steel gray. I don't know if that camera's picking it up, and these are more gray. Silver. Ooh, I hear my 
dog barking. Hopefully y'all can't hear that. So pretty. is the last set in this this series. The others are a little bit different. Isn't that pretty? Gosh, I love these. Makes me want to keep them all. Good grief. Can't do that. Okay. Now, these all come with four large sheets and then one border piece. These again are large sheets. They're all approximately 12 by 16 inches. Got pineapples on here, some stripes, but I've uh, coordinated them so they all work well together. Tropical ones here that are really pretty. This is the border piece. And some blue palm trees to go with the rest of them. So that's that set. Horses, isn't it? That's the border piece, and then you've got these to coordinate with it. Some seashells and starfish. Some stripes and a map. It's an ocean map. This. Let's see what else. more. I've got this. This is your border piece on this one. It's a stripes. If I can get that. Isn't that pretty? It's like a wood grain with a ship. If I've been holding these in frame here. This and then this is wood grain. And they all work just beautifully together. Guess that was the whole point, huh? And down to the last one. Got some fish here. A couple of swirly patterns. This is another map. wallpaper and now just for fun I thought I'd come on and show you I made this little thing with some of my cutoffs pretty basic it's um it's a double-sided pocket you can just take it put it on either side of a page it's got the pocket here. You can either glue the whole thing down and just use this pocket, or you can glue one or two sides and have this pocket plus a tuck, or do the glue here too and have another whole pocket. And then you turn the page and you've got one on this side. Same thing with your pockets. 
So I thought those were real cute. I thought I'd just take a minute here and show you how I did that. It's really simple, and I'm sure you figure it out yourself. It's so simple. Just fold this in. Fold this one. When I work with wallpaper, I always have so many different size cutoffs. And these that I have in the shop now are, as you can see, they're a little bit taller. So your pockets would be a little bit bigger, but still the same kind of, same theory. Let me get some glue out. I should have had this on its side already. Glue down. Actually, while that's coming down, let me get my little uh, thumb hole punch, whatever you call this thing. <laughs> Circle punch is what this is, but go ahead and do that. Oh, I did that wrong. Oh, well, let's just do the whole thing then. I should have punched the other side. So we'll just do it like this. That'll still work. Okay, let's go ahead and get some glue down. See how simple this is, and I think they make really cute double pocket. Could be a quad pocket, depending on how you glue them. But there's that, and then you can put anything you want on the front here. I've got some little clusters. Oh, I've got these from, uh, I had made these little, what do you call them, fabric clusters for Rachel's um, challenge yesterday. That's cute. So, yeah, we can just, you know, put something like that. You can put anything you want on them. But I thought that was a cute idea. And then just put them in on your page. Got a page going this way. Get that glued on. And like I said, you can glue the whole thing down or just a couple of the sides and then have a double pocket. Oops, I'm right off screen. Sorry about that. But anyway, I was saying you could just glue the whole thing down or just the two sides and have a double pocket or just glue the bottom and have a tuck spot here you know just put something in I put something bigger than that but that's that so anyway I just wanted to come on and show you the new wallpaper show you a little something to do with some of it and talk to you soon happy crafting